Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm Dara Gilmartin, 24 year old real estate agent in Dubai. And yes, today, today we're doing a March 2024 review. As a lot of you may know, in March, I moved uh, to the off plan department from leasing in house and house. And now I'm an off plan investment consultant, which means I help people identify the best opportunities in Dubai for investing in off plan projects. And off plan essentially means buildings which are under construction or to be built over the next few years. So yeah, it's a, been a big step up from leasing and today's video, we're just gonna discuss everything that's different. So in Money March, March was actually for house and house our best month ever. So we made the most amount of money in March ever, which just goes to show that the Dubai real estate market is indicating no signs of slowing down up 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 get involved but for me personally Dargo Martin uh, money march did not happen I got no deals closed unfortunately in my first month in off plan and yeah I mean it's a little bit disappointing I don't want to say disappointing because I knew this was going to be a long-term game going into off plan you're not just going to hit the ground running so the, the first month is all about just putting in the groundwork reaching out to your contacts learning about the market and building long-term relationships so yeah to i know some people ask me uh, any deals close in first month no none closed in the first month but we learned a lot and yeah we, we still have things to break down and to analyze so one thing i actually find very valuable about doing these youtube videos is breaking down my statistics and analyzing and seeing where i can improve something that I would highly recommend to any real estate agent or anyone in any industry at all, to be honest. Actually breaking down your statistics, analyzing what you're doing well and what you can improve on is so, so important for your growth and development in anything. You, you can't just, obviously, working as hard as possible is a prerequisite um, to succeeding. But if you're just working hard the whole time and you have the blinkers on, tunnel vision, and you never take the time to step back and reflect and analyze what you're doing, you may just be going down the wrong path the whole time. So this month, we're going to analyze exactly how I did. And yes, let's just jump right into it. So I guess the sales process for closing an off-plan deal, if I just explain it quickly first, uh, you must phone call someone or reach out to them, let, let them know that you're an off-plan investment consultant, and then you wanna book a meeting. So, in this first month of March, I transitioned from leasing to off plan. I was mainly focusing on and reaching out to the landlords whom I rented their apartments and also other landlords who I just had close relationships with. Maybe I listed their apartment online, but some other agents to, uh, managed to rent it for them and also then tenants who I rented to. So I was reaching out to all my warm clients and just letting them know, hey, I'm an off plan investment consultant and yeah, pitching an in-person meeting. So at House and House, we have an investment committee. And this is what I was pitching to people because when you're reaching out to these people, I, they know I rented their apartment or I rent um, an apartment to them. They know I'm not an expert, but what's very beneficial to them is knowing that House and House has an investment committee where some of our senior investment advisors have over 20 years worth of experience in the Dubai real estate market which is a huge time here in Dubai. The entire city is, was essentially built in the last 20 years. So we have senior investment advisors that have seen the entire growth of the city and every single project that we are allowed to pitch to our clients has to be first vetted and approved by this investment committee. This ensures that every project we pitch to our clients is of the utmost quality. And we only work with the highest quality developers that have a proven track record of delivering on time and delivering with high quality finishes. So if there are developers that have a poor track record of performance, our investment committee will know about it and we won't be pitching that to our clients. So that, that's really beneficial for me starting out in off plan, pitching these to my clients is like, listen, you're not just working with me, Darla Martin. Of course, the relationship will be with me and hopefully, you know, they had a pleasant experience with me personally the last time, but they're working with an army behind us of investment consultants. And, you know, one of the premier um, real estate agent agencies in, in Dubai. And yeah, 
often that's able to close the deal. So if we break down my stats then for the month, the first step of the sales cycle is getting meetings done, either in person or Zoom. I actually had eight of these um, with previous clients. So six were in-person meetings where I brought them to the office and two were via Zoom. Four of these meetings, I was able to convert to actually going and visiting sales centers. So this is the next step in the sales process is going to visit the sales centers of the various developers. So yeah, four of these people I brought to various sales centers and yes, I did not close any deals with any of them and we can look at them each individually, but it's all about just building long-term relationships. This is the game of off plan. And you know, I will definitely 100% close with multiple, like hopefully all of these clients um, in the future. That's one thing maybe I learned from leasing is that there's not as much urgency in off plan as there is in leasing. So in leasing, if someone needs to rent an apartment, they need somewhere to live pretty soon. They're not gonna live on the street. And then if a landlord has an empty apartment, he wants to get it rented pretty soon because he doesn't want to be not earning any money. So there's a lot of urgency in leasing. But with off plan, it's my job to bring the urgency or to display the urgency um, to clients. So some clients, they just may not want to act quickly because for various reasons, they have a lot going on in their life. They have businesses they're running. There's various other financial assets they can invest in rather than real estate. So it's my duty as a real estate investment consultant to explain to them why it's beneficial to act with urgency and to invest early. Because in Dubai, the real estate market is growing very, very quickly. And you know, waiting six months or a year to make a purchase in real estate just because you're not willing to put in time is actually very costly in the current market we're in. So of course you never want to rush a client to make a decision before they're comfortable before it, but that's just my job as an investment consultant to display the information to them, to let them know it's costly by waiting time and let them make their decision. So yeah, they were my statistics. Uh, if, of the four people I brought to sales centers, I know, um, yes, two of them, I have more sales centers to go and visit with them. They just traveled, uh, like we visited some sales centers and then they're traveling for two weeks. So we're gonna visit some more when they come back. Another, this is the one, is the, the deal I lost out on. And I say that with quotation marks around it because I don't really see this as a deal lost out on because I think we will close in the future. But yeah, one particular client, and this is the main story of the month, one particular client, I rented his apartment to him. So on Emar Beachfront, he, uh, he lives there now. And yeah, I obviously gave him a professional experience renting the apartment to him. And once I phoned him up and explained to him what I was doing now, he was happy to meet in person. So this particular guy, has his own online businesses, invests in various uh, asset classes, including Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, which we have recently seen a surge in price over the past number of months. And, you know, he's lived in Dubai for many years, maybe close to 10 years, and he's seen the Dubai real estate market being built up around him, but he's actually never considered it as an investment possibility. So. Yeah, when I brought him to the sales centers, we had a really special opportunity for him. And, you know, maybe I can go into detail about that opportunity in another video. It was Rove Home by Marassi Drive, or Rove Home in Marassi Drive, rather. And yeah, he seemed very, very keen. I thought he was going to purchase two units, um, maybe naively, looking back on, you know, I'm early in my career as an often investment consultant. And, you know, I was like, wow, I'm going to get my first deal done pretty quickly. But he decided uh, when I made the final phone call to him, he was like, Dara, listen, you've been absolutely great. 100%. We will do business in the future. And I will recommend you to all my friends. He owns online businesses and various businesses. He's like, Dara, I have a lot of like, rich friends here in Dubai who I can recommend their services. But for now, for various reasons, the Bitcoin price might go up the equity market, what's going on there, interest rates, who knows what's happening. He was like, Dara, I just feel like 
waiting a couple months is the best option for him. So listen, I never want to rush my clients into making an investment decision they're not comfortable making. And I know business will come my way for treating that client respectfully, uh, bringing them and just being as professional as possible. Something will come down the line eventually. So yeah, to recap personally in March, um, I, and where do we go from here? What did I learn? So I learned a lot about the best developers in the market, the best areas and what makes sense for different people. Where we go from here, I have a lot of clients like tenants and landlords that I rented to previously that told me, you know, after Ramadan, Dara, let's speak. So that's kind of been a brush off or who knows? I think for a lot of people it actually is legit too. So they don't really want to, they're fasting during Ramadan. So they don't want to think about investments and things of these nature. So hopefully in the month of April, we'll have a lot more people coming forward uh, for meetings and bringing them to sales centers and building those relationships. That'd be very good. And also, yeah, just this month has been crazy uh, in terms of workload and boxing training as well. Of my fight coming up on the 26th of April, it's just an insane amount of workload to start off. I was probably not sleeping enough. You might hear my voice a little bit. I'm a tiny little bit sick now, probably due to just overworking, uh, overstress, not enough sleep. But I mean, that's what needs to be done, right? In the beginning, we're putting in the building blocks to have a huge successful career here in Dubai Real Estate. So I'm willing to work as hard as possible to do it. And hopefully, um, I can bear the fruits in the future. So, so yeah, one thing I just want to cover is like the differences between off plan and leasing and how I'm finding it really at the moment. So number one is the pace is a lot slower in leasing. You're just, your phone's getting just pinged all day for whether inquiries on your listings, tenants you're working with, landlords you're working with, just your phone is nonstop. You barely get a moment for your brain to just relax. So it's a lot more peaceful a lot more slow paced and it's one of the reasons why I prefer it. Obviously there's a lot more money to be made in off plan, but it's more difficult, right? So, I mean, two sides of the same coin. How it's different to leasing as well is that it's very much focused on building long-term relationships with your clients. So I mentioned, you know, these deals, I'm bringing people to the sales centers and they're like, yeah, maybe in a couple of months and stuff like this. I need to just keep them continually updated on the market, how it's performing and where the best opportunities are. So that when it time, time comes to invest maybe a year down the line, if it takes that long, you know, I've built that relationship the whole time. So, you know, in leasing, you're you know getting an inquiry from someone, you're going through the apartment, you could wrap it up in a day, realistically. So that's very much of a bigger difference in off plan. And then finally, off plan is actually very intellectually stimulating, which is the main reason I'm really actually enjoying the job. In leasing, you're not really using your head to think that much. It's a lot like monkey work, to be honest. You're just trying to get as many listings as possible. You just want to be working constantly, just replying to people. But you know, the, the problems and the situations you face are just the same over and over and over. You're just trying to qualify an applicant, see what they want, and you're just trying to reduce prices on the landlord. It's just, it's just basic work, and it's not that intellectually stimulating. Versus off plan, is very very interesting. So you get to study the history of Dubai real estate, which might be an interesting video for me to make actually. Study like urban economic plans that the Dubai government and the ruler has set forth, the vision for the future, and you're just studying kind of all these different developers what their history is like and what they're developing now. It's just a lot more intellectually stimulating and getting to research things, which suits me a lot better. And yeah, that slower pace, building relationships, intellectually stimulating. Just, I really know I've made the right decision and going into off plan. One last thing to mention, I actually spoke to our house and house creative team, marketing team during March. And yeah, a podcast might be coming. Or from yours truly, Dargo Martin, House and House podcast. Well, it's not going to be branded House and House. It's going to be my podcast. And I think it'll just be very interesting maybe to interview and pick the brains of some of the highest performing real estate agents in House and House. I think, I think this could be huge. I think it could be really, really interesting to understand, 
you know, their strategies for how they make so much money, what are the systems they have in place and also what is what's their journey been? Where did it come from? I think a lot of people can get a lot of value from those conversations. So yeah, hopefully that's happening this month, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, guys, if you enjoy that, uh, just little March recap on how I'm getting on the real estate market, please leave a like, leave a comment, watch any of the other videos. If you want to know my insight, insights on the best areas to invest in the buy real estate market. And of course, if you want any, if you are actually interested in investing in the Dubai real estate market, you can always book a call with me with using the link below and I'll be able to you know, get to know you better, get to know your investment strategy and pitch what our investment committee and our army of investors say is the best investment for you. So thank you very much for uh, guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.